So who was so kind and helped the market make a U-turn? Let's start with PayPal, which on January 11th, the FATF Financial Action Task Force is clearly an organization that has expanded in that respect. The amount is small, but XRP plummeted 8% that night. Welcome back to the Coin Post. Bitcoin is at $38,000 and is getting ready for new highs. European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde demands strict regulation of the cryptocurrency, while XRP got another stab in the back. These are the main crypto news of the day that you gotta know. Give us a thumbs up and let's start. Bitcoin once again proved there's no point in making the charts. Just believe in the power of the asset. The growth from the starting point on January 13th and the time of making the video makes almost 20%. And the price is above $38,000 now. So who was so kind and helped the market make a U-turn? Let's start with PayPal, which on January 11th, during a sharp drop, doubled the previous record and cleared $242 million in crypto sales. It indicated there's growing interest in the asset. And not just on the stock markets. Bitcoin is increasingly entering traditional financial markets and is perceived as an asset, similar to gold. We should also give some credit to WeChat users, who got freaked out by a bogus video that purports to show a single sell order of 21 million Bitcoin. I mean, just so you know, there's only 18,600,000 Bitcoin today. According to the principle, everything is PR except obituary, this video could become the reason to go to the stock exchange and check the balance of your account. It also exposed Bitcoin to those who didn't know about it. The interest in it was boosted by famous cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance, Huobi and OKEx, which started a rumble over who is more manipulative and who has better trading conditions. And the third factor they may have spurred the markets is the information about the crypto whales that were buying during the fall. While the exchanges fixed record losses of almost $1.5 billion, the number of wallets with a balance of more than 1,000 bitcoins exceeded 2,140, thereby setting a new record. And I'd like to know how much you trust these metrics from various analyst services. Share in the comments whether you think the balance data of large wallets affects the bitcoin price because the head of Glassnode thinks that this is really important and points out that almost all of the Bitcoin fundamentals are now at their all-time highs. If Bitcoin continues to rise, it could face some massive resistance at 40,000. Because if whales are buying, then private investors don't mind fixing the profits at this level. And I'm gonna move on to the next topics, as next we're gonna look at the regulation of cryptocurrencies and the new problem with Ripple. So don't go away. European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde has called Bitcoin some funny business and some interesting and totally reprehensible money laundering activity. She then made the following statement, I quote, The FATF Financial Action Task Force is clearly an organization that has expanded in that respect. I mean, I should admit, it sounds scary. But you and I can see that Bitcoin is still rising, even after the news like this. I would venture that Lagarde said so only because she was asked about it. And she's not actually involved in the regulation of cryptocurrency. At least because she has enough problems saving the EU economy from coronavirus. Also, she got off with a completely standard wording and acted like the FATF organization wasn't handling the cryptocurrency issue. And you and I both know that this is not the case, and many countries are already passing laws that deal in different ways with the cryptocurrency handling and use. They're also working on developing international regulatory standards. Still, it looks like an attempt to collect our taxes, and there's practically nothing about protecting investors in cryptocurrencies, but that's the nature of any country. And there's nothing you can do about it. The second important regulatory issue is the information from Reuters about the future ahead of the US financial regulator. 
The chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission will be financier Gary Gensler, who previously worked at Goldman Sachs and from 2009 to 2014 chaired another supervisory body, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The good news is that Gary Gensler had previously opposed calling cryptocurrency pyramids and even promoted blockchain technology. And the bad news is his statement that Ethereum and Ripple violate the law on trading in unregistered securities. He said it in April 2018, when XRP was only a sales sticker and the token was called Ripple, as was its parent company. We'll talk about it later, but in the meantime, the coin post has a good chance of reaching 5,000 subscribers before Bitcoin takes $50,000. So subscribe to the channel, please, and let's see who gets there first. Thanks for your support. The other day I posted a video on the prospects of XRP rise. And out of the blue, like a stub in the back, we got grayscale news. But the video is still up to date, and I'm not changing my prediction. So if you haven't seen it, check it out right now. You can pause the video and watch the episode by clicking the link you see on the screen or in the description box and then come back here. Now that everyone is aware of the issue, I can tell that Grayscale has decided to close the XRP fund. They're gonna sell the cryptocurrency there. And as of January 11th, the funds make a little less than $11 million. The amount is small, but XRP plummeted 8% that night. I'm sure the market will quickly recover from this, and the overall situation will continue to develop in the same direction that is the price following Bitcoin while awaiting new information on the proceedings between Ripple and the SEC. And although the potential new regulator hat is not much for Ripple, his views may have changed since 2018, and the British and Japanese authorities have stated that they don't consider XRP to have any signs of a security. But here's one important thing. Ripple is an official American company, accountable to the SEC. And if they were, for example, in Japan, perhaps the regulator would look at the situation from a completely different angle. May I remind you that if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And you can also share the latest news with your friends by sharing this video on social media. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. It's the Coin Post channel. Subscribe and get enlightened.